so evolved mentally back at you again with another video. Um, so there's a few quick little tips that I wanted to cover. Um, this goes for leaders, this goes for everybody, this goes for free to play. It uh, goes across the board. Uh, so what I'm actually doing right now is I'm going around trying to find these little uh, items on the ground that I can farm. Now as you can see, I'm out of energy, right? So I can put them down, use a potion. But a good way, especially early game, to get energy or magic back is to just level them up. Because um, you're going to want to level them up anyways. It's totally worth it and in your best interest to do this. Um, you'll preserve potions for later that can be used for any cause. Whereas when you do the XP, you know what you're using it for. Um, we're going to put this in a gazole. Not so much Avril anymore. So it looks like I only need one more item. That'll be my item. So I can complete this pact. My first ever pact with this gentleman. Um, I trusted him to do the house income and he actually got it before I got it which is really awesome so that kind of worked out actually so we will get this I think with the next pack um and also I didn't show you guys this yesterday but I did get the transmute done in time and it gave me this chest which has some really good stuff now that I look at it so I'm happy I completed that on the day one for me I really needed it um, let's see can I get Ooh, boom 18 seconds what a capitalization um, that was all luck, but I will take it. Um, so this is where I should probably start favoring things. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do my front lines because, yeah, they're front lines. But here were the basic things that I just wanted to cover with you. Um, it was that, you know, getting your hero up. Unlocking the greater abilities that you can get. Um, you know, we really haven't talked too much about things like that, but this, this is by far the best heal in the game. Um, I'm going to let you read it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, it won't work on undead mech or building units, so building units would be tanks. or Well, tanks would actually be mech units, so I guess a building unit would actually be... Um, I don't know, actually. Uh, maybe Archangels and things like that. Maybe these guys. But uh, I don't know why it's worded the way it is. But yeah, basically mechs and undeads. These are undeads. They don't get healed by it. But these guys aren't undeads. So they do get healed by it. Scorpions. Let's, um, let's upgrade them. So they do get a heal. And uh, eventually you'll see me get spiders. And they do get healed as well. Um, but the quick little thing that I just wanted to show you. And, um, I'm gonna use our chat, I guess, as an example. Um, okay, so actually, here's a quick little thing. One, you should already start developing chats, um, as soon as you hit a server, because the more friends you make, the better. And a buddy of mine, um, Broads, brought this up earlier, and it's the truth, you can never have enough friends in this game, especially if you're a free-to-play, because your friends are gonna be how you get ahead in the game. Um, it's not gonna be really you by yourself, it really, even if you play to play, this game really does gear around teamwork and having a community established. So we have our Dragon Raid chat up and running. We have a good amount of people in there already. We don't have any Dragon Raids yet, obviously, because nobody's gotten them. Um, we have our Everyone Hangout chat and our Athlete War Council chat. So I'm going to use the Athlete War Council chat just to show kind of what I'm talking about. So guys, this goes for the leaders, and I hope you guys are watching this. So... Using the at symbol to target somebody specifically or at all is huge. Um, but this is even bigger, right? Because this is going to allow you to pick the cities that you want people to know you're focusing. So whether you're linking for sieges, raids, loots, whatever the case may be. And you can directly link loots to, you can link somebody's stronghold directly. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video because I'm not at the point where I can do that. But um, like right now we're focusing fair market. So I just type in fair, I don't have to type in the whole thing, and boom, fair market comes up. So now I can link this for everybody in the chat. I can follow up with an at all, and what will happen is it will completely negate my link. So that's not what I wanted, so it did notify everybody. Um, but actually, if I remember correctly, to do this, you have to actually at all them first then hashtag the fair market but the great thing is is you're actually seeing how it's typed out for me here 
and how it would have typed out if it done that. So now let's see if it's sent correctly. Yep, okay, so now it has actually notified everybody by using the at all. And now if I click the fair market, it'll go to the city that I want it to go to. And that's kind of what I'm getting at. I'm not gonna actually leave here um, because I'm trying to get this item really quickly so I can get this packed completed and see what kind of rewards we can get. But yeah, just a few more basic little tips and or tricks that you can utilize and or capitalize on. Um, there's also some other cool at tricks too. I forget how to do them, but you can change the colors of your text and stuff. Um, someone showed me that like 30, 40 servers ago. So I don't do it because it's it's you type in so much just to get it to do it, and it's really not worth it. But if you've ever played RuneScape, it's a similar concept to that. Um, but that's about it. I think that will cover. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, I because I can do this from here. So if I'm gonna cover a couple more quick little tricks, make this a six minute video. Also, you want to late game. No, actually, I'm not gonna cover that right now. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, stay uh, evolving mentally.